Hello and welcome to Home Cooking Spain. Today I'm going to be cooking a one pan sausages, peas and rice. So let's start cooking. Okay, we'll start off by chopping these garlic cloves off. And then a bit of onion as well. Right, so let's open this pack of sausages up. And I'm going to cut them into bite size pieces. And I'll chuck them there with the onion and garlic as well as I'm going to fry them all together. I find that doing it that way, they've got skin, it seems to close them up slightly, so that way they don't break up when I cook them, you know. Okay, so there you have it. Okay, next I'm going to turn this right up and add two or three tablespoons of olive oil and wait for that to heat up. Well, once the oil seems hot enough, I'm going to add the onion, sausage and garlic. I'll tear it down to number seven and just gently brown everything off. Okay, let's give this a, a mix about. Everything is browning off nicely and just leave it there another few minutes. Okay, so everything seems nicely browned off, so what I shall do now, let's get these bits off, the spoons, I'm going to add some salt. And also a meat stock cube. You can use the vegetable one, chicken one also, and let's see if I can open this. God, one of those days, isn't it? Okay, and I'll crumble it in, sort of, because it's bloody hard. Again, it doesn't matter, it'll dissolve. Okay. A nice sprinkle of paprika, sweet paprika, or hot paprika if you prefer, and also a couple of tablespoons of tomato, fried tomato sauce, and 
just a drop of water. Ah, a third of a glass. Just so that this boils and dissolves the cube, stuck cube. So we'll leave it here for a couple of minutes so that it dissolves. And next is to wish all my subscribers a happy day. Today, um, it's exactly three months since I started my channel. So, cheers to all my subscribers. Thank you very much. And I look forward to cooking many more recipes. Okay. So the stock cube seems to have dissolved. So what I'm going to do now is add the rice. Sprinkle it nicely everywhere. It's about one cup of rice, roughly. And I'm going to give it a nice mix. And also, before I forget, I had the peas out here, but I put them in the freezer. Because it's getting hot. So I'm just going to chuck in a few peas there. I'll put that back in the freezer quickly, after stirring this. So I'll leave that here for a couple of minutes because the peas have slowed down the cooking. Okay then, so after a few minutes I'm going to add the water. Remember I'm using a 30 centimeter pan and I'm adding that was 500 mil and that makes it 700 mil of water and we'll give it a mix about that's it I'm going to turn it right up to bring it to the boil quickly Okay, so once this has started boiling, let's mix it about a bit more. I'm going to turn the heat down to number 7 and I'm going to cover it up, leaving a bit, a slight gap as usual. And leave it there for 15 minutes and then I'll do a salt check, just in case. Okay, so it's been here for 10 minutes, so let's give it a, a move around. And I'll cover it up again and check it again in another 10 minutes. Okay then, it's been another 10 minutes. And you wouldn't believe what happened to me. I just had to lie down. I got one of these, what do you call them, cold sweats. And I had to lie down for 10 minutes. It's this weather. It's like, it's five to one. And there's like 33 degrees already. It's incredible. Right. Sorry for that. Let's have a a taste to see if this rice is cooked. Mm-hmm. Yes. It's perfect. And the salt also. 
So what I'll do now is turn it off. And let's put this camera on there and there. And I'm just gonna leave it there to one side for five minutes. Okay then, so dinner is ready. I'm sorry I had to cut this video a bit short, but I'm just not feeling too well. I think I'm going to lie down. I have an early sister. Thank you for watching everyone. I look forward to the next recipe. Goodbye.